Okay, question five. Hank sets up a bird table in his garden to provide the local birds with some food. He notices that a specific bird, a large magpie, visits several times per month. He names the bird Bill. He models the number of time times per month that Bill visits the garden as a Poisson distribution with mean 3.1. Using Hank's model, find the probability that Bill visits the garden on exactly four occasions during one particular month. Okay, um, per month, guys, look, that's another important thing that I didn't underline. Okay, so let's say that, let's say X is a Poisson distribution with a mean of 3.1. What is the probability that X equals 4? That's the question. And the answer is, well, the answer is, Use your calculator. So, menu, probability, distributions. Um, I need to find Poisson, PDF, Poisson PDF. 3.1 is lambda and 4 is the X value. Press enter. And I get 0 0.17335. 0 0.17335. Five, if you want, guys, three significant figures, 0 0.173. Part B. Over the course of three consecutive months, find the probability that vis Bill visits the guard on exactly 12 occasions, right? So three consecutive months. So I'm going to do a new, uh, new distribution now. If the, if the, the mean for one month is 3.1. The mean for three months is 9.3. It's just three times that. So now I have to find the probability that y is equal to 12. It is not, guys, if any of you thought about doing this, this times three or anything crazy like that. You have to do a new distribution uh, and you have to do this again. So it's probability distributions, Poisson at the bottom, PDF, mm. and it is, um, hang on, it is 9.3, 9.3 and 12. And we get 0 0.079895, 0 0.079895. That's B part I, and then B part I, I. It says, uh, find the probability that Bill visits the garden uh, during the first and third month only. Okay, so that's the probability that, let's assume, the first, let's look at the first month. If he visits, the probability that he visits the first month, he has to visit it at least once. So I have to do the probability that y is greater or equal to one. That's the first month. Then multiply by, because it's and, and there each month is independent. Um, sorry, hang on guys, I've made a mistake. This is now, this is now back to x, because I'm looking at, I'm doing each month separately. So I want the probability that x is bigger or equal to one. So, because I'm looking at the, that's the probability that he comes at least once in one month. So it's 3.1 times the probability that x equals zero because the second month he can't, he's not gonna come. So he comes at least once, he doesn't come. And then the third month again, he comes at least once. So that's what we're doing. So, I need to work out these separately. So distributions, now I'm gonna do Poisson CDF. I'm gonna do 3.1. I'm gonna do a lower bound of one and an upper bound, let's go 999. That, that'll be enough. Press okay, and I get 0 0.954951. 0 0.954951 multiplied by exactly equal to one. Well, 
you could actually do one minus that, but let's just, sorry, equal to zero. You could do one minus that because that's greater or equal to one, but let's just do it separately again. Distributions, but uh, plus on PDF, 3.1 again. X value is now zero. Press enter. 0 0.45049, 0 0.45049, and then multiply by, maybe guys, I should use the time sign here, doesn't really matter, uh, well, it's the same thing, 0 0.954951, and this equals, well, let's just work this out, um, 0 0.954951 times, well, I could just square that because I'm going to do it, multiply by that again, and then times 0 times 0 0.45049. Press enter, and I get 0 0.410816. 0 0.410816. Three significant figures, 0 0.411. Okay, that's uh, that's it, guys. That's parts A and B.